welcome students in the third lecture of topic germination what we have studied before this structure of seed concept of seed germination viability of seed and its dormancy which again types of seed dormancy related to the structure as well as the physiology of seed and methods of breaking seed dormancy that are natural morphological as well as the physiological natural methods need some time physiological method which are related to the physiological parameters of the seed and morphological that are related to the morphology of seed coat in this lecture we go for factors affecting seed germination there are main two types of factors external as well as the internal factor first we go in detail for the external factors in order to seed germinate certain conditions are necessary and these are summarized in this external factor one of them is water as is well known the seed contains reserve food substances which may converted into mobile nutritive substances by the action of enzymes in presence of water so enzymatic reactions are facilitated by the water and seed coat of various species exhibit different degrees of permeability to water and they are related to the composition of seed coat particularly the lipid component another factor that is temperature the conception of three cardinal points apply to germination minimum temperature is lowest at which germination can occur and the optimum temperature at which germination is most rapid and maximum upper limit of the temperature the examples like the fagus trifolium and various alpine plant germinate at a low temperature majoritely at the hilly region there is a low temperature so specific types of plant observed in that area while some species germinate well in constant temperature while other require at least promoted germination by daily alteration in temperature for example oinothera or the rumex whereas freshly harvested seeds of some crops like barley oats and wheat exhibit rapid germination between 12 to 16 degree celsius even drying at ordinary temperatures of period of several weeks it shows germination between 20 to 30 degree celsius in some seeds then the third important factor that is the oxygen though certain seeds are capable of germination complete absence of oxygen the seeds of aquatic plant for the most part fail to germinate in this condition we know the example of rice and that rice it is with water or the seeds are deep in water so it have an anaerobic glycolysis system whereas barley seeds need the aerobic oxidative process so depending upon the plant there is need of oxygen again differs weed seeds lie buried in the soil for years without showing any germination response and if they 
come in contact with the surface of soil by, by disturbing it then they germinate promptly and the delay in germination of viable seed is to the high carbon dioxide content or low oxygen content or both of the soil wherein they are buried so typha latifolia this is the one example it germinate rapidly the oxygen pressure is lower these are the some examples that how the less or absence of germination or presence of germination how it can affect another one factor that is light where light it is important for the germination along with the temperature and this point we have discussed in breaking of seed dormancy sometimes red light or darkness can induce the seed germination there are also some substances that can be affect seed germination and very well known example is orchids many of you are familiar with that orchids seeds are with immature embryos so this type of dormancy it is related to the structure of embryo and for their germination there is need of fungal infection maybe these fungi serve as digest complex polysaccharide making them readily available to the seedlings and without sugars like fructose or sucrose seed will swell and offer and turn green in light but embryos may remain alive for some time and growth will not continue so this is very well known example of the orchid as they need some fungal association another example it is for the parasites like orobranchi or striga they germinate stimulus by maize roots why this is so because these are the angiospermic root parasites germinates only in the vicinity of the roots of their reproductive host and the certain substances present in the host root diffuses and further they germinate the seeds of the parasite and orobranchi as well as the striga these are the best example for it and third substance that it aquatic nature plants like alisma then sagittaria and various species of potamogeton and scirpus germinate easily in impure water note that they can germinate readily in impure water containing bacteria whereas they are not able to germinate in the pure water so again the aquatics means the quality of water which is again uh, related to the ph of water and the components of uh, water acids like hydrochloric and sulfuric malic as well as oxalic acid these are alkalis uh, or potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide can also induce germination of uh, some seeds but it is surprising that rice germinate best in distilled water and acids and alkali they are not with beneficial effects these are the some external factors which are used or they affect the seed germination like water then temperature oxygen light as well as the some substances that are needed by specific plants then some internal factors are also there which affect the seed germination in which 
many of the times insufficient amount of uh, growth hormone which is present in seed it is responsible for their dormancy and sometimes there is a need of a time interval to synthesize these type of uh, hormones means time as well as the concentration of the hormone they are integrated to the each other and the third important factor that is related to the embryo many of the times embryos are developed but there they are immature and thus they limit the germination so these are the three important factors affecting the seed germination like insufficient amount of hormone time required to synthesize this type of hormones and immature embryos so up to this we are with the knowledge that is the seed concept what is seed it is fertilized ovary then the germination of the seed means ability to develop into the plant then another one that is the types of seed dormancy and methods of breaking seed dormancy and the today we have studied factors affecting seed seed germination in next lecture we go for use of different treatments for the seed germination or at commercial level thank you